we are together again in New Zealand. Last year we harvested some of the best animals the North Island had to offer. But after seeing the stag that her husband took, Lisa was determined that she was going to take one for herself. So here we are, back in New Zealand. It's going to be quite hard here, so we're going to have to sneak over and just watch and watch. You can guarantee these animals are going to see us coming over. That real heavy patch in Santa Brown. Where's the stag? There's two females there. There's more up to the right and higher up. He's to the left, he's up there, he's standing. See the tree? See him? He really stops. See what he does, he can just stop on the top. It's not high enough, I can't. Are you excited, a little adrenaline rush? Yeah. She's an awesome shot. She's just been doing a great job. She loves it. It gives her a chance to be out here with Mother Nature. Just awesome to be together out here. Gorgeous. I mean, he's all crowned up there on the top, just like they are. Good weight. We were able to make a really great stop, come over the ridge, and Ian said, you can take him. And they got me in line and got me set up. And I made the shot. It was fantastic. I was nervous. I was scared, but it was the best. It, it was an incredible, incredible day, incredible deal. Well, once again, fantastic. You did it. It's fantastic. That is awesome. I don't know, Dwayne, you're in trouble. I think I'm in trouble. I'm looking forward to having him on our wall, actually. That costs extra. Does it? Yeah. Well, Dwayne, no. Okay. <laughs> So we take uh, across the ridge and we're working in behind some scrub. We're trying to sneak along a little bit and we look down in this valley out in the open is a giant fallow deer. And we started glassing the fallow and Ian said, oh my goodness, look at the size of that fallow deer. But we, we gotta be careful of that fallow. We just did that fallow and he could he could just bust out of there and chase that seeker away. The hardest part about getting past the fallow was getting Dwayne past the fallow. Julian, we gotta yeah, look, look, I see that fallow. Yeah, we need to look at that big. Dwayne and I are making a stalk on a nice seeker deer. When I happen to look to my left, monster fallow deer. I said, Dwayne, you better take this one. Hello. See, he's as big as I think he is. That's big. I'm telling you, that's an opportunity there that you make it. Okay. 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 It's big. I mean, it was, it was one of those that I just, I had in my mind, this has got to be a super trophy. I'm shooting him. The animal was in a difficult uh, sitting position. We'll get set and hopefully when he stands up we'll nail him. We couldn't shoot it while it was bedded. I'm going to try and get him to stand up. He heard it but he's not doing anything. He just moved his head. <laughs> he's just watching up here. It's like what was that? He's looking straight up here. Here you go, here you go. He's going to get he's up. Gonna, he's he's gonna, gonna, yeah. And he's straight on. Don't shoot him straight on. Just wait, wait, wait. He's running, he's running. He's running. He's running. Follow him, follow him. Wait on him. You good? You got him? You got him? Yeah. You got him? Yeah. It's hit him. You've got to hit him. He's going down. He's going down. He's, He's down. down. He's down. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> when he turned his head. When he turned his head and you could oh. see all that. And that was, there wasn't much decision really there. You don't see those. He but. was, he is white. First shot, he went down. It was, it was so textbook and it was awesome. We got up to that fallow deer. 
then I understood what Ian and what Steve was trying to tell me. There was no ground shrinkage on this thing. He's 30 inches inside the paddle. Yeah, wow. Of course. You know, Robin Hood and his merry men and the King Sherwin Forest and all that jazz. These are the king's deer. These were the deer, fallow deer. And that's why they were imported here. I'm telling you, I am so appreciative of this hunt with Ian Lowe, Kawika Ranch, and having Steve LeBlanc as, as my friend to invite me for this hunt. Started the morning off, we went all the way up to the top of the mountains that are there. Well, we're working hard. I've been having a great time up the hills and down the hills. I needed to take a breath. It's kind of steep if you're doing it this way, but uh, it's labor of love. And when you're out hunting here, as you do back in the States or in the fall, it's always a good idea to layer your clothes. When you're walking and hiking as hard as you are, you don't really want to build up a big sweat. You don't want to get chilled. The reds. Mostly females, eh? Yeah. There'll be a stag near him somewhere, just watching. There'll be a stag. Get up on a high point, we're going to sit down, we're going to glass into these draws. As you can see, though, we're looking and glassing in great distances. You've got to really have good optics. We'll, uh, we'll work our way down and, and get a bit closer so we know what's going on, we can hear them. See up here? He's got a mud hole there. He's got yeah, he definitely like. it. There's no reason for him to come out. No. He, he's also going to guard an area like this pretty fiercely. He won't want another stag coming and drinking out of here. They react to each other very smartly. Though you know, if one stands up and looks, the others will immediately they'll react and they'll move. Well, I mean, this is perfect habitat for them. It worked out, and this is exactly what you know we're looking for. We're just going to do this. This is where there's some water holes. All right, just get up okay, there and call. We got in there, we're sucked up against this bank. Ian broke out his horn. He made a roar. <laughs> Nothing. And all of a sudden, Ian started looking around and it was a hind. It's females. There'll be a stay again. There'll be a stay again. Just watch. You can just see the tops. You can just see the tops of his antlers. sneak up in here, you started roaring, and then here he comes. Oh man, and he is some kind of stag. Uh, what? <laughs> that <was> Congratulations. So, <laughs> man. That's the great thing about hunting in New Zealand. Things happen so quickly. Just an absolutely <sighs> drop dead gorgeous. Jeez. Look at, the, look at this juice, dude. The main. What an animal, what a animal. He stood in that posture, that very domineering posture, that big neck with his head held high looking. I mean, that's what I'm going to capture in my sculpture. As soon as yeah. I come back next time, I'm going to have one of those done, bring you one of those. New Zealand Red Stag. Yes! <laughs>